Yeah, today we will understand the uh, a bit of uh, CI, CI uh, con continuous integration. Uh, for example, project this is an template. Last, in the last video, I have shared this uh, template, uh, template URL. So, uh, this behaves as a PWA progressive web app. So, you can see this, uh, this app is uh, actually running uh, at this at this platform where you can see the technology that is Angular 10 web pack TypeScript and web framework is Ionic. So it's running running here on GitLab as a public page, as a single page. So this is a single page application. It's uh, hosted on GitLab. So uh, I have written I have written the co uh, code and uh, I just push any commit uh, to this uh, branch. To this repo, it start uh, triggering the pipeline of uh, running. See, you can see here, like uh, it started running uh, <coughs> page deploy, page build, and uh, page deploy. Um, here, here it's running job succeeded, like uh, it's uh, um, run is successful. So here it's passed. So when you will go on the main page you will see the pipeline passed and uh, the job is finished and whatever changes i have done recently it will be uh, updated here it will be updated here so let me show you a simple change uh actually it's working so this is the home page uh, one page I will go to pages, it will come to dashboard. Now I will go to home. I will just edit the home page to see the instant effect. Here you can see this. This is home page, and I just made one indeed. This is home. I am moving the page. And I just I'm making a small commit here, and uh, you can see the pipeline started running. The pipeline started running here. You will see the incremental. Yeah, the pipeline is in running state. So it's actually doing uh, building the uh, this project and will deploy. Uh, to the GitLab pages or Git, you can use the GitHub pages also wherever you are uh, maintaining your repo. Um, you can utilize that uh, pipeline. So it's using a Docker image uh, to deploy it. Let's see the effect uh, currently it's showing home. So it's install, it installed the dependency install on first uninstall the Ionic package again. It reinstalled the Ionic CLI and uh, it did um, npm install. And uh, now it added uh, Angular PWA progressive app package. Now it created. Now it's performing the CI build Ionic uh, build, and it's compiling the codes now. So uh, compilation of code is over. You can see it uh, divided the file in chunks. It generated ES5 bundle uh, with chunk. And uh, now it's uh, uh, renamed the WW folder where the um, uh, build uh, was uh, created uh, to public. And now it's uh, creating a cache. And you can see the job is succeed so i will just refresh the test to see the instant effect here if it changes see this uh, says 404 still it's not reflected here still it's not reflecting here so i just passed here uh, a flag no cache no cache is equal to one so after finishing the job, it takes uh, a bit time of one minute to post the code. And you can see 
this is the instant change it happened so i have i have not done any manual thing so now coming back to git lab ci yml file what i have done here uh, so uh, here these these are the few commands actually these are these are container commands i'm giving use image i'm passing the image use node alpine and cache path cache path i have given node models because sometimes uh, some uh, the existing existing node, node modules uh, should not get installed uh, again to delay the um, build process so i am using cache uh, for this path node module and stage i have given you can give the stage different stages uh, is like build de test deploy something these are the stages uh, stages you can give here i am pushing it as a page so i have given pages stage i have passed here again deploy script i am running these are the container uh, script so i am passing here npm angular install cli uh, globally install ionic uninstall ionic if it's already installed there again install this uh, ionic cli and after that install the npm package let me duplicate it it will be better to show how, what npm install will do after this so npm install will just go to this uh, package.json file or if a package lock is there then it will uh, work with this else it will search for package.json and uh, will start installing these uh, dependencies dependencies you can see here it will start installing these dependencies and uh, after that i have given here to add a pwa uh, progressive web app uh, angular progressive web app so i can run this in uh, run this in uh, web view uh, next is i am building for in tci ionic build prod this will this will generate a pwa application bundle uh, for production so now it will it will generate in ww file so what i am doing i am just renaming the uh, ww file uh, folder it will generate the build in ww folder just i am renaming it as a public and here i am passing the artifact path as public and when this will happen this will happen when i will push something in master branch so only master here i have passed so if i do any changes in master branch it will start building it now coming back coming back here i will go in settings and i want to show here how my page is being built so i will go in ci cd and here you will find like runner this was the runner which was uh, running expand the artifact is uh, artifact is uh, public which i renamed there so runner in runner you can see uh, there are few shared runners so uh, this project is being built by shared runner because i have not uh, registered any specific runner or uh, my own runner here so it's uh, this runner triggers based on this uh, tags based on this tag suppose this is gitlab org so this runner will something tag will be passed like gitlab uh, hyphen org so it will start building it it will take that uh, uh, tag and it will start building it like that here are a few runners shared runners uh, which help here to build this app so you can register here your own runners also uh, you can register your own runner also here either you can uh, you can uh, host your runner on google, uh, gcp google cloud platform aws or somewhere else and uh, you have to pass here the uh, uh, token token to uh, run that runner so this is one of uh, one of good thing to uh, uh, to build uh, the 
PWA single page application with such runner so it can deploy you can mention here uh, more more thing like uh, SSH um, authentication to push the code push the artifact to remote server and all so you can pass here more commands like uh, SSH some key file name and uh, push this public directory to somewhere some else uh, server so it will deploy the code from here so here i think uh, yeah in infrastructure when you are trying to uh, uh, add the runner you go in infrastructure in the project uh, uh, in the project setting you will get this kubernetes cluster so if you want to connect this aws or uh, google ke gke so you just uh, connect with that and uh, it will it will create it will create uh, one or two instance whatever you have defined there or chosen there uh, it will uh, create one or two instance based on your uh, numbers to this um, to your google or aws account and it will it will, uh, it will be permanently your runner so uh, whatever tag you will pass in that it will build for your build for you not for others and it will be dedicated to you now going in one more section like web hook this is also a good thing to know like uh, suppose you push something code here and you want to trigger uh, trigger some action on remote server after the code push so uh, here if you write one url or trigger point like uh, this url should trigger uh, suppose i pass here one option like uh, uh, update code.php something action if you commit in in some branch like it will be push on push event or you can choose any event whatever you want and you just uh, you just want to trigger this you can uh, add a web hook so whenever whenever you will commit the things you can uh, your code will be pushed if your code is static and uh, your code is static and uh, there's no more dependency on changing the settings and all then it can be pushed by this one so you can see here let me minimize it let me test one test event so hook given me hook executed successfully with 200 uh, like it says like this uh, url is valid and uh, on ser on server this hook is executed successfully so you can write uh, in that url suppose i posted here like uh, update code.php or something else you can give any url which is handling your uh, things or you can uh, and you write in this file on your re remote system you just write git pull or uh, um, yeah git pull from the remote server it will pull out then pull out the latest code and will update uh, the code on remote server for you here i have enabled the gitlab page so that's why this url is running here so i have enabled this uh, i'm using custom domain here I'm custom uh, using custom domain here, so you are able to uh, view on this URL. Else, you can view on this URL also, because this is a repo default URL, so it will serve the same thing here. But it's not showing anything. I have to put the URL manually because it will not redirect uh, as the uh, main URL is uh, given in PWA. It, it's not showing. So if if you don't add if you don't want to add this custom url you can load with your default i have added here custom url and there's a few settings for the for my custom url that's why it's not opening with default thanks for watching please subscribe my channel thank you